this is extra credit. You make a hundred on this quiz. Monday, we'll just add it to the grade. Right, so I know which one. We're not then we'll add it to the previous one. Okay. But the neurotransmitter that controls the scope of the muscle contracted is acetylcholine. Probably make insecticide to give it what enzyme on acetylcholine that causes toxicity by allowing the acetylcholine to continue acting. So when your skeletal muscles receive the acetylcholine, they start doing what they're supposed to do. Like your brain sends sense down to your, your muscles, you move it. Well, there's an enzyme that's going to stop the acetylcholine so you don't keep doing your arm like this. Well, what are you, you paralyzed? If you don't receive this enzyme, you get that acetylcholine so active, right? you're just going to keep. And that's when you see these bugs that are sprayed with them. this insecticide mm -hmm. that contains that enzyme. They just, they just they move their shelf to death. They just die of exhaustion. Mm -hmm. Has <laughs> everybody wrote this down? No. So I did get the credit for it. I did say that. I think it's acetylcholine right before sex. You be okay? All right. The extra credit. The neurotransmitter that controls skeletal muscle contraction is acetylcholine. Carbonate insecticide inhibit what enzyme that causes toxicity? By allowing acetylcholine to continue acting on its receptor, this causes the insect to continue moving and literally tire itself to death. This will be on tech two later. The quality is probably not that great, but it's one of my little homemade cameras. Mm -hmm. But it's for the people that weren't able to make it. Everybody wrote this down. Yeah. No. I think you have one out Be careful with some of these wiki answer websites. They're wrong. <laughs> First hand knowledge. I was just going to type the whole thing and put a question mark at the end. <laughs> See if I start commenting. Right, so you can probably, probably research for that. Right. Yeah. Because okay. the rest of it just tells you what it does. <coughs> Are we ready? For the problem? Yes, go ahead. I'm ready. So coming today, that gives us like five mm -hmm. extra points, right? Your points. I don't know. Five extra points. It depends on how much you pick up from the problem. So. <laughs> how many have you done the problem? I did. Well, I just put that down and I'm going to use the problem. Where is Ernie at that I was Number one. Uh, uh, you need to make four gallons of a 7% solution of broadleaf herbicide to spray a lawn that is 40 by 60. How many ounces of herbicide are needed? You guys have worked one just like this. The previous worksheet oh, that we had. Yeah, right there in the middle. Right there, Doc. Do we need the do we need the forty by sixty? No. We don't need that information. It's just a, something to put up right to you. Who does that too? It's all in start. Guys, I'll write down my information that I know. I know we have a forty by sixty lawn. It's telling me that I have to have four gallons of mixture that has a seven percent solution. There's the only information I need. The four gallons and the seven percent solution. This yeah. is this is useless to me right now. Because it's telling me how much I need. I don't have to figure out how much I need. It tells me I need four gallons. But seven percent of the total solution is the herbicide. That's what that means for a while. So seven percent is the same thing as seven over a hundred equal 0 0.07 times 128 equals. ounces, that's in a gallon, equals, equals 8.96, we have four gallons. Equals, equals, 
because I round it down since we can't use more pesticides. Uh, 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 got one right for All right. I got 36. Get round up. Oh, oh, up. You went up. Yeah, I got yeah. 36. Oh, I was just thinking you had a mathematical term. 30, 30, well, 38.4 would be 36. Or, or 35? Uh, technically, yes. But what if I put 36 ounces in my mixture, then I'm using more pesticide than required. Oh, yeah. So you can go a little bit less. Yeah, you can go, go more. You can always go less. And it's, and it's hard to yeah, yeah. go less yeah. and, and go more. And, yeah. Another but if you guys are in this you know, range, but remember that we need to we need to go down. If, if I put what? 30, if I put 36 on the test, would that have been wrong? I would have given you credit, but I'd have been like, you know, hey, we need to come down. If it's 35 and a half, we can probably get half an ounce. Yeah, half an ounce is a piece of it. Yeah, but 35.84 is hard to measure. Round, put a teaspoon in the table. Spoon. Any questions on that problem? So the answer is 35.84. And really, just just guys, work your math out. <coughs> yeah. Leave it there. Sure. Sure. What are you doing? Yeah. What don't you get? That's all I'm trying to figure out. Listen, any time it tells us that we're going to have four gallons or we're going to have five gallons, it's already telling us what we need yeah. for that application. And then the only question is, can is a 7% solution. And you got to think about it. you got what all we've got needed right there. Here's your backpack. One gallon, two gallon, three gallon, four gallon. So we've got, we fill our water up and we bring our water to the top. That's our whole solution for now. Seven percent of that total mix is the herbicide. So seven percent of that is four gallons. How many ounces? How many total ounces are four gallons? Uh, 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 a little over five hundred. Five twelve. Five twelve. The best thing to help me was the uh, percentage thing. Just making that. 0 0.07 right off the bat. Yeah. Yep. As I see a 7%, I go 0 0.07 and eliminate that yeah, figure. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. everything yeah. else was simple. Yeah. But once I got that in my head, everything clicked. So yeah. Is it still up there? And it's just like, we'll see. Looking at it from this point, we know that we've got four gallons. Four gallons is equal to 512 ounces. What's 7% of 512? Uh, okay. 35. Yeah. That's what I did. Just found out how many ounces were in four gallons right off the bat. And then Multiply it by 0.07. Ready to move on? Yes, sir. <sighs> that was the one, though, that I looked at the longest. Yeah. That first problem. I can tell you were frustrated. I you just didn't think that. I thought you left out a line. You know, like, um, no, I thought that it should say the labeling says, you know. Yeah. All right. All right. How many pounds of granular herbicide <coughs> are needed to treat three acres, assuming? A label rate of four pounds per thousand square feet. What? What? Info. What? What do we know so far? No, no, three acres. Forty-three thousand by sixty times three. You know, three acres. There's forty-three thousand five sixty per acre times three. Four pounds. I'm just going to see everything today. Write down the steps that you know, and then kind of write down what are they asking. So now we got three acres. We're gonna put four pounds per, per thousand square feet. Thousand square feet. So our question is how many pounds of granular fungicide were the three acres? All right. All right. First step, 43,560 times three. Uh, 130,680. 130,680. How many total square feet we got for the for the project? Okay. Um, next thing you want to do. How many one thousands go in there? One three oh six eight. 
point. Rule 16. Or it's easier if they want to see the math work out. Yeah. Or over a thousand equals 522 pounds. Sixteen thousand by thousand multiplied by six using ninety six. We have sixteen thousand square foot long. How many thousand foot to go into it equals sixteen? Our sprayer is going to put six gallons out. Ninety six gallons. You were going to do it afterwards, right? Yeah. I'm done by 3 o'clock. I think we've both in trouble. 
And the previous problem was put four over a thousand, one to be six over a thousand. Because it's six pounds per one thousand square feet. The last problem said four pounds per one thousand square feet. But we we'll put four over one thousand. And of course, multiply it by the square feet. So what do you do? Well, we could, have, times we could have done 16,000 six. times uh, 6 over okay. 1,000. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so it's wrong. Say yes. That's what I was thinking. I was like, well, I'll give you the same. Okay. I'm going to stick that out of what I want. Is that your pack? Everybody pull it up. Four, an 8% solution of pesticide will contain how many flu ounces of pesticides per gallon of mixture? 8%. 8%. It doesn't tell us how many gallons we've had made, so we're going to be figuring it for one gallon. So we know 8%, which is the same thing as 0 0.08. How many ounces are in a gallon? 128. 128 times that 0.08 gives me 10.24 ounces of pesticide in that mixture. You get that one. The first one, yeah. The first one helps with that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You guys think about it. anytime there's a problem that doesn't ask for a square feet or whatever, that you know you've got the information. It's just per gallon. And that's like number one. I threw in the square foot of the lawn. And you didn't even need it because it told you that you had four gallons of mixture. What was that? You are using the one hundredth of an acre method to calibrate your boom sprayer. How long would your test site be if the boom measured 36 inches? Use the attached table to determine the length. 36. It's the very, the very top table. Oh, yeah. 145. They printed that out. They had everybody printed it online. I didn't print those. That's the exact same chart and spreadsheet that you'll get for the exam. So that's we won't need to, we won't need this one to take the test. You already have it. It's stapled to the draw side. What about my, uh, my I'm going to be allowed to use stuff like that right at the house. Yeah. Right on. Some of that may We've be been looking for you. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I just I had it on the screen like, for the circle. Pi R squared. Yeah, I'm going to remember. Pi. So does everybody know how to do that? Chart? Yeah, but it's an exact yeah. problem just like that. Uh, you're going to have a different uh, row space and we'll look at and see how long the test, test plot is. Go ahead, the answer is 145. 145. Or, oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know. It asks you the road. Right. Then you just come right over here. You got your row width, which is given in the problem. It's 36. You're yeah, using 100 oh, acre to make the calibrate your boom sprayer. How long will the test site be if your boom sprayer measure? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, so this is with yeah. yeah. See, I thought so it was a straight across. Feels good. Here's the other one. Right? Yeah. They've already done the math for you. Just got that chart. I think I'm in my bag. 
Okay. Number six. You were applying a pesticide to a lawn. The total lot size is two and three quarters acre with a hundred by forty three house and a six hundred and seventy three by twenty two driveway. Oh, I'll let you know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is a joke. This is a joke. All right. That's cool. What's the first thing we need to do for A? Find need, out how much you're going to take out. Yeah. We need to find out how many total square feet we got in two and three quarters acre. What's the answer for that? Does everybody know how to figure square feet in acreage? No. Well, we got two and three missing. quarters acre. Two and three quarters. That's the same thing as 2.75. Yeah. Okay. Which gives you 193. 43,560 gives you 119,790. 119,790. Total square feet of the property. 17,760. Oh, no, 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 no. You said the property, not the cost yeah. of the driveway. We got two and three quarter acres. That. Just 2.75. Everybody understand three borders. That's what I was going to ask. I mean, I just raised my hand or whatever. But yeah, that's just, just if you can't eyeball it, how would you know that? Two thirds, two and two thirds. It's not always going to be an even, even six, 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 two thirds. Just divide three. Divide by four. Okay, that's what I want to know. Divide six, six is it? Equal. Mm -hmm. Our total sure. property is two and three quarters acres. Okay. Well, two and three quarters is 2.75 in decimal form. All we're doing is taking that fraction, moving it to decimal form, and then multiplying, and then by multiplying it by the acre. square footage in one acre. Let's see, we have two and three quarter acres, and there's 43,560 in an acre. We actually have 2.75 acres of property. The two remains the same. So what if this was two and one third acres? Three, three, three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What if it was two and four eighths? That'd be a half. That'd be a half. Yeah, half. 2.5. Yeah. Just taking the fractions to decimal. All right. And with your calculator, you just divide the top number by the bottom number yeah. and add it back to the whole number. Uh, hmm? Well, what's the house size? 100 by 43. 100 by 43? 4,300 square feet. You're missing All right, just to the side. We've got 100 times 43 is 4,300. So the draw was bigger than the house. Our total, so I'm going to subtract 4,300. All right, what's the what's the uh, what's the driveway? 673 by 20. 673 by 20. What's it? 13,460. 13,460 minus 13,460. Subtract. That right there, and that's your answer for A. 102,000. 30 feet. 30 square feet is how much turf that we're going to be spraying. I'd like to have that, John. That's a lot of... That's a lot? Mm -hmm. Sounds like a bit of dirt. That's more than, more than two acres. Application. Where's the 673? Where's that at? Oh, 673 by 20. Yeah, this is our driveway. <clears throat> this is our house. Okay. Because we're not applying product where the house is sitting, nor are we putting an application over the driveway. Better not be anyway, right? <laughs> Lots of we get some product on the driveway. So that's our answer for A. B part of the problem, the label says to apply the rate of 0.75 fluid ounces per thousand square feet. 
how many ounces of formulation we need for this area. All right. Miranda, tell me how to do this. That's what I'm trying to figure out. It's just like there's other problems. That's all I was looking at, but... So we'll take our 102,030 feet. We're going to multiply it by what? 7.5 over 10. Okay. I said. <laughs> and we get... 765225. Yep. Or 5.96 gallons. And I would only be putting 765 ounces. <laughs> okay, I take the word for it. You're going a little fast, though. <laughs> and I don't understand if some people know how to do this so well. What the heck are they doing in here? And I say that nine <laughs> Because it seemed like y'all going, y'all here, and I'm like right here. And they don't have nothing to do about me coming a little bit late. You want me to show you a real cool website after this? Let's, all right, let me finish this. I am going fast because I only have one hour to take to get this on. Oh, okay. Come on. Watch. That way you guys can watch this as many times as we can. Right on. I'll feel on. Oh, good. You don't, well, know, if I'm, you don't know that I'm still up at, at 3.30 in the morning yeah, unless yeah. I send you an email. <laughs> that way we could all be up together, huh? <laughs> yeah. Be all night, baby. Really? All right. Number seven. You're working on an 80-acre retirement community in which 43 acres has a fine fescue lawn. The remaining acreage is streets, parking lots, and the village homes. You want to apply five pounds of active ingredient of herbicide B+. Plus per acre of fine fescue. Herbicide B plus is a 74% wettable powder. How many pounds of formulation must you apply per acre? Oh my gosh, you would do that call. Is it better than that? Miranda, would you like to work this one now? It's real easy to do that. Yeah, just a lot. And it's really the same amount of acres. What did it ask for? It says how many pounds must you apply per acre? Mm -hmm. We're figuring it just for the acre. So, do I really pay attention to the 43 acres? No. Uh, is there part of the home? Yeah, it's just. No, 80 these are, acres. These are one acre. Okay, 80 acres. acres. And then 43 of it is just. Um, do I care that I do I care that I have a do I care that I have an 80 acre site right now? You care that you have 43 acres? No, no. Why not? Because 43 acres is going to apply five pounds. It asks me how much to apply per acre. Working on eight, right? Oh, okay. Uh, You're just working on eight acres for the rest of it. Yeah, we're just working on it. That's that's no. where, that's the location. Oh, five pounds. Oh, no, 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 no. Eight, eight acres. Seventy-four, five pounds. Seventy-four percent of five pounds. So, what seventy? Eight how eight. do we write seventy-four percent? Point oh point four more. Seventy-four more in a decimal in right. fraction form for a formula. <coughs> seventy-four over hundred. I'm going to equal it to about five pounds. Active ingredient. I'm trying to find X. Seventy-four. Do what? Equals five hundred. Equals six point seven five. Pounds per acre. Uh, oh, uh, and really, you know, I like we could measure out probably seven, six point seven five pounds per acre. Is that eighty acres or eight? Well, apparently it doesn't eight. matter. Eight, eight, yeah. nine, up here. No, I mean, oh yeah, that's the word from the eighty. It's an eighty acres. Yeah, you're working on the eighty acres, right? which forty three or forty three acres. acres. Right. Forty three acres on eighty two turf. Because you got the houses, you got the parking lot, the streets. So that's just a, that's just a problem I made up. I mean, it's typical. We used to work at an 80 acre site. 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 I thought it was eight. I'm just trying yeah, to write this. I mean, I mean, no, it's, it says 80. I mean, that was my bad. But, but let's need to read more carefully. We don't even need to know where we're at, how many acres we have, because the problem asks us how many pounds per acre. 
It didn't say how many pounds for the entire community. It said pounds per acre. So you're saying when you're reading it, try to understand what they're asking for and don't get caught up in the acres. Because they write down what they give you. Yeah, they lost the information. Me. Yeah. And then write down what are they asking you for. Because I got oh, lost in the FESQ. I'm still. Did the FESQ cover you up? Yeah. I was right on that. She didn't say about last year, Bermuda, bluegrass, whatever that's it is. That's, that's just, just a typical. And, and you're going to have a client that'll call and say that. Hey, man, you know, I'm the superintendent for an 80 acre apartment complex. We've got roughly 73 acres of turf. How much would it, how much would you guys charge to come and yeah. fertilize this property? Yeah, I'm proud. And you can calculate a rough estimate of the property. You say, well, based on the information you give me, the 43 extra 50, I can spray it for the, I can start the half of it. Okay. So you can see four, you can use four, six, seven, five. What don't you get? Well, it says how many pounds of corn and lettuce. Double the 10 pounds. Okay, you're five per acre roll right there. It says four pounds per 10 pounds. That's not active ingredient? Take half of that and use it. You want that? Use that. You figure that out again. It's trying to make it too complicated. I'm just trying to break the percentage. Yeah, we're breaking. So we write down the information they give us. I'm making this way more. Right here. Read it to me again. 40, uh, we're on the 80 acre site. Right, 80 acre site. 43 is in fine fescue. Right. What else does it give us? 5 pounds back to 50 pounds back. We want to do 5 so pounds per acre. 5 pounds active. Well, hey, what you got right there? So per acre. And it's the same. Yeah, you probably have 74. We have 74%. Right. So you got 74. Right. 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 So you just divide the 700. Right. And then what? That's, that's the info. Give it. Okay. So, All right. And then I want to. I was very down with what I was doing. I'm going to do it. Well, that's what you're computing. What does it ask for? Just like you said, what does it ask for? How many pounds of the formulation do you apply per acre? How many pounds per acre of active ingredients? It didn't ask yeah, you how much for the whole site. But if it did ask us for the whole site, we come down here and we know that we're applying 6.75 per acre. We've got 43 acres in turf. Times out by 43. And there you go. And you want that job. And you want that job. Yeah, and Brandon, look, we don't even need to know that we're on the 80 acre site. We don't even care that we have 43 acres of fine fescue. Are we worried about this right here? I, I think I think I would probably write like that because at the end of at the end of it. They just want to know what X is. They don't care about fescue or wet full powder, none of that. All they worry about how many pounds per one acre. Okay, now, I'm not, I'm not getting complicated, but I was just saying, I, in my brain, I was saying, so I would take the amount of money that you charge to apply that and just multiply it by what we just got? We're not figuring dollars. Where, where's that coming from? No, I'm asking. Oh. I'm just asking in, yes. in yes. general. Yes. In general. Okay. Well, we have 43 acres. Okay. I know I'm going to be applying 7.75 pounds of product. Exactly. Well, I know how much that product costs because it's small. Yeah. yeah. That was just a little side thing. I, I didn't know how you did it. I remember you were discussing the other day about applying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, if, if you bought a 100 pound bag and it costs you X amount of dollars, okay. and then 6.75 times 43, mm -hmm. you're going to have over almost 250 pounds of product. Right on. Okay. 290.25 pounds. So you'd buy. Uh, 300 pounds? About 300 pounds. You'll be buying six bags of the Webble product. If they sell it in 50 pound bags, you typically don't have 50 pounds. That was a little tough. Yeah. Yeah, but, These bags are tough. 
But the way, but the way you explained it, it seemed, it seemed a little bit better. Yeah. A little bit Always write down what they give you, mm -hmm. and then write down what they're asking for. Yes. Yes. Nine times out of ten, you've got too much information. Yeah. That's what you got to start thinking. Mm -hmm. I, that's why I get bogged down. Yeah. I get bogged down with information. And that's what the clients give you. Yeah. Wow. They'll call you and they'll wow. they'll tell you their whole life story. Now, <laughs> what you even know is this little pertinent information. Okay. And then that's when I do that to the client. Put me three word problems. Yeah, the, the second page. I'll dare you to give me a word problem to figure out. Second page, I've got one. Because that's what you want. Y'all need, y'all need, y'all know that I know. Three hours of lecture a week, three hours online, three hours. Y'all need to spend at least nine to ten hours a week on a class. That's That's the blackboard rules, pretty much. That's the way I look at it. I think I'm on there. I mean, I can do that, but it doesn't have the fact that I stick with that. I just stick with that. Are you going to slide in a discussion this week? If you haven't had it yet? If I hadn't put it up, don't slide it. Yeah, sometimes cool. you've got to catch us at this last. Or we couldn't find any other than one test yesterday. My second term is the right one. All right, we are, we your, real, your rear mount square on your John Deere 2150 tractor, it holds 150 gallons of pesticide, herbicide this time. It has been calibrated to apply half a gallon per thousand square feet. How many times would you need to refill your sprayer if you're spraying an athletic park that has 37 acres? That's good stuff. <laughs> this is really hard. Stuff. Imagine this. You've got a tractor. You've got a sprayer on the back. It's a 150 gallon tank. We know we got a 150 gallon tank. It's been calibrated for what? Half a gallon. Half a gallon per thousand square feet. Half a gallon per thousand square feet. How many times would you need to refill your Sprayer, if you're applying, if you're spraying the athletic park 37 acres. So there's what we know. That's 150 gallon tank. It's been calibrated to a half a gallon per thousand. We have 37 acres. We need our 37 acres this time. Yeah. So 43,560 times 37 acres. Alright, so we got 43,560 times 37 gives us how many total square feet? 1 million. 1 million. 1 million. 1 million. 1 million. 1 million. We got 1 million 611,720 square feet in this athletic park. Which is a giant number. It's a giant number. And then we have to set up our. I got about 1,000 worship. That's going to give me 806 gallons, point 12. 805.86. That's what I have to do. I got 806.12. And I just left that for right there. I left that for right there. You wouldn't be wrong getting your final answer. You would have rounded up. But, yeah, I keep it at that because I'm not using Well. I'm, it's going to take me 805 gallons of total product to spray this park. Well, my tank only holds 150. So how many times am I going to have to fill up? 5.37. So I take that 805 divided by the 150 gives me 5.37. So would that be six five. times you'd have to refill your tank, or? Well, you're going to you're, yeah, you're going to fill it, 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 it full five times and then point three seven a second. Okay. Mm -hmm. the one million number is that multiplied by one thousand? Well, you. I don't see how you're coming up with the eight oh five. You can multiply the one million times point point five and then divide by a thousand, or you can divide that by a thousand first and then multiply by that. Either way, you'll be close. Yeah. <coughs> um, <coughs> multiply the one million by point zero five, and then point divide it, point five, and then divide by a thousand. Yeah. After you get the number, I don't see that. Just take this right here, times 
that rain. That gives us what is it? Five thirty. Five thirty point six six. That's our square feet of our circular patch. Do we move in the grass? Our diameter. You've had construction. You should know this. We figured doing brick papers in a circle. Square feet. I've done cool. it all I mean, how many bricks will fit now? Huh, sir? How many bricks will fit in the circle and all that? We have 530. Uh, how many bricks per square feet? Got another yeah, how many bricks per square feet? 4.5. How about that? How many bricks? 10% weights. There's going to be cuts and stuff. And mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Write this formula, like on your your sheets. Yeah, yeah I was going to ask you that. You're not going to have you're going to have it attached to it, but you're not going to have our little other formulas. Can we just write it on ours and bring it to the to the test? Yes. What I put on blackboard, that one sheet that's got the, the chart for the width of the rows, right at the bottom. Write it at the bottom. You can write constants we got, like right three thousand acre and. Right on the back, or right cool. back. I'll show you how we're going to do the test. Everybody needs to bring their student ID number. What we need that for? I want y'all to start putting that on top of your test. Instead of that way, when we grade it in class, nobody knows who's the grade. Oh, that's slick. Oh, yeah. All right. We get our square footage for the circle. So we have 530, 66 times. What's our label rate? Uh, Seven point ounces, five ounces per thousand. <coughs> Three point nine seven ounces. Correct. Three point nine seven ounces. Correct. Three point nine Oh, I, I mean, I know it, but it doesn't dawn on me that I was just doing this at a point. I guarantee the Chinese are doing this at two and three years of age. Oh, yeah. that probably That's is true. Moved. We need to borrow them. Yeah. We need to send one more. I think they're friends. People that are my age, and they know math way better than we do. Yeah, but they don't go to school and basically. They beat them every day, so they'll work. You get beat every day, you're a little kid. Yeah, they are smart, but... We still need him to drown all the little girls. That's true. All right. Next one is pretty hard, true. Next one, next one's a little tricky. You need to apply three pounds of nitrogen fertilizer per thousand square feet to a high school soccer field. We're probably not in real life going to do three pounds per thousand. This is this is just remember this is this is for you guys to understand the math. How many total pounds of nitrogen will go on the field? They are using the football field for the soccer field, so we know we can figure the square footage of a football field. A football field is 100 yards by 53 yards. 100 yards. Is that something we should know off the top of our head? Because I feel like we've had a couple of questions about football fields now. We know that you ever what I mean. Should we know that a football field is 100 yards by? We're not going to have a problem with tests like this. But if somebody calls you or you get a price, you can go right online and type in square foot of your football field. Right. And it'll tell you. But we don't need to memorize it. No. But everybody knows that a football field is 100 yards. I mean, yeah. it's from yeah. the 53 is what we don't know. Yeah. Huh? The 53 is what we don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The 50, yeah. But it's 53 yards wide. Well, that's just, that's just, you know, Goal line to goal line. We still got to take in consideration. But we'll draw the football field. Line. There's midfield. Then we got our we got our end zones. Put me where I'm getting picked at. <laughs> we we'll have to score on Clemson. <laughs> and uh, so we got a hundred yeah. by fifty three. Yeah. What's the end zones? That's excluding the end zone? Yeah, just from just from here mm -hmm. to here is a hundred okay. yeah. yards. Okay. The end zones the end zones are gonna be fifty-three yards wide as well. Mm -hmm. right. But how many yards deep are they? 
to one. Ten yards deep. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, first thing we need to do is calculate from yards to square feet. Oh, and that is so 100 yards. <laughs> 100 yards is equivalent to 300 feet. There's three feet. You gonna say? Let me ask you a question. Yeah. You gonna say the end zones are 10 feet deep or 10 yards deep? 10 yards. Because you got the thing on it. Question that says 10 feet. I know. I saw that last night after the <laughs> printed the darn thing. So, I, that's oh, what I'm saying. Oh, oh, we overlooked that because we know what it was. Well, that's what I thought too. But and I apologize for that. Because I figured out, so we got that wrong. We'll count that. I know y'all think I'm perfect, but I'm not. I can make mistakes. I, I, I appreciate it. It's not allowed. I appreciate the, uh, the thinking that I'm perfect, but I'm not perfect. Right. Right. Well, I but it's, but it's, ten, it's 10 yards deep. All right. Well, we should know that there's three feet in a yard. That's just something we should, that's... 39 point, uh, I mean, I was, I'm sure I was... So, we have 53 yards. We're going to times it by three. It's going to give us 159. So, we're going to have 300 feet times 159 feet equals... 47,700 square feet without our end zone. Okay. Why did you say I didn't start with? I'm showing them exactly what I'm saying. Well, I know I have two end zones. They're 53, so it'd be 20 so yards. say 20 yards by 53 yards. So we've got 60 feet times the 159 equals. Why do I have 50? Well, that don't work. I did something. Oh, Lord. I've got two times 30. We've got 10 yards. So we've got 30 feet times. We've already done that math. Oh, we know that it's getting three feet wide. Once again, y'all think I should have this memorized. Come on now. So, in our end zones, we have 9,540 square feet. On the football field itself, we have 47. Add those two together. And we're going to have 57,240 total square feet. You gonna, you gonna multiply that against what? No, we just, all we've done so far is figure total square feet. No, no, so I was far. saying, didn't you just say multiply the 9540 against something? About what we already had or what? Huh. Or that's the answer? Add. Add. Yeah. See, here's the first oh, you said add. Okay, I'm sorry. Here's just here's just the hundred yard football field. Okay. Here's your end zone square feet. So I'm we've adding. Got, we've got two end zones. No, I'm adding that 9540 with what? Um, 9540 to the 47. Okay. Seven. Oh, it's a seven. That gives you your total football field, end zones included. So that was a three. And seven. All right. What's our product? We're putting three pounds per thousand. I just erased the field. Actually, you didn't have a lot. Well, I'm going to answer it. Okay, get in there. I don't know. That's a great idea. Equals 557,440 pounds. Three pounds per thousand. That's what I feel like. Yeah, 171.72 pounds of product. How much? 171.72. Dang. Why yeah, do you make that so hard? Though, I don't understand. Well, he's just trying to show every step. I show every step. How, how did you guys do it? We just multiplied the 120 by 53 gives you 6360 square yards. Divide that by 9, divided by 1,000. Oh. Multiply it by 3 gives you 171. Yeah. Multiply it times 9. I'm like, you guys, how do I have to show it step by step. 
because this is what we're going to do when we take the I'd test. I'd like to hear that again. <laughs> we're going to show our work when we take the test. After the test. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm teacher. Well, I think the way they can see that. Uh, all, all we did first, what, what's, the, what's the, the three, the two things? Really, this is only two things. We figured out our total square feet. And then we multiplied it times our product. We're putting three pounds per thousand square feet. That was given to us. Mm -hmm. Three pounds that per thousand. Give that, give that, 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 All right. we had to do is figure total square that. footage of the football field. <laughs> but see, I'm going to oh, see the way you just did it, though. It made it easier uh, because uh, once uh, we figure out how much square footage we got, that's the way I had to see it because of you know, the way they just broke it down, I didn't even hear what he just said. I was wanting to give him a tennis clap for getting it right, but yeah. that's not going to help us when we take the test. Just that's don't change the square yards. When you get your square yards, the multiply out of nine, that gives you square feet. And you don't have to, you don't have to do all that. Nine. Yeah, you multiply by nine. Where's, where's the nine come in? You got nine square that, feet to square yards. Yeah. Oh, it's the that's same that's thing, though. Yeah. It's three feet. Oh, yeah. There's 36 inches. What is a square yard? How many square feet is in a square yard? Thirty. square yards. Oh, How many square feet is in a square yard? Nine. Nine. Three by three. Three by three. Yeah. Three, three by three. Landscaping math. In the square yard. We have to get there doing that right. Yeah. Oh, two bullshit. Two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. I think it was. Hey, that was 41 years. It was last year. Right. Right. Any more questions? <laughs> That'll conclude this part. I have a. Um, uh, the test is going to be more than just math, right? There's yeah, going to be some more shorter, more short answer yeah. questions. Yes. So is there, a, like, what specific part and, like, the book should we study? Okay. Okay. Uh, 